let's return to the field events and the women's javelin for the F12 and Anna Sorokina of Russia is currently in the lead around three meters ahead of the field so far but it's the early stages of the competition we have four competitors and here is Rose Velepa of France who had a no throw to open the competition this her second of six Yeah, there's four in this javelin. It's the uh, F12 final, which is medium visual impairment. So there is a guide whose job is basically to stand in the infield and to get their competitor to aim a javelin at them. Well, Anna Sorokina has just thrown her second throw, 3309, so not troubling her leading throw in the second round she won a silver medal at the Paralympics in London a couple of years ago so Rose Walepa. this is one of the events which doesn't take place in every game so there's not a huge amount of form these competitors to go on. Tanya Dragic won the London 2012 title, set a world record of 42.51, but she's not in this. Well, Epa has a personal best of 24.29. Thrown over 21 metres so far this season. And that's just creeping over the 20 metre line, possibly. Just about. And the leader, Sorokina's second throw, has now been classified with a red flag, so she only has one legal throw so far. And Walepa with a personal best, some way short of the rest of the field. Looking for a lifetime achievement here. will be on the board this time after a red flag first time around and it's 25 29 oh, sorry 21 29 so some way short of her season's best but she has something to improve on now it wouldn't have made much difference for her if it was 25. Yeah. It would have kept her in uh, fourth place anyway. This is uh, Natalia Eder of Austria. Ah! And that's a really good throw. That's a tremendous throw, actually. 34-33 in the opening round. Target for the lead, Sorokina of Russia is 37-51. Has thrown close to 40 metres this season. Javelin has to uh, go down point first. If it's uh, if it's a flat landing, then it goes down as a as a no throw. And that has been measured, and 34.73 keeps her in second place. It's an improvement of. Uh, 40 centimetres, it was just about OK. It wasn't completely flat. Obviously, went to measure it anyway. So down to other officials to rule it's, it's a no-throw. Now we have Maria Vidacek of Croatia, currently in the bronze medal position. So Sorokina leading from Adair at the moment. 
That one is some way short of 20 metres. She threw nearly 30 metres, or just over 30 metres in the opening round. And all the competitors here in the field events not being helped by the blustery conditions at the moment. wasn't right for her at all the uh, wasn't able to cut through the wind well, it still got measured looked as if she'd stepped out early but it's uh, gone through as a sub 20 meter effort it's only four in this field so we're rattling through the javelin very quickly indeed we're uh, past the uh, Third way point of the competition now, and we're heading into round three. And our leader for Russia is Anna Sorokina. 37.51 in the opening round. <laughs> she got some distance on that. It's beyond 30. White flag as well. She leads by uh, three metres or so from the Austrian Natalia Edda at the moment. Started off the competition very well with a, a 37.51, and that has her top of the pile right now. And Natalia Edda doing very well to try and keep up, and that was 36.91, and that in itself would be good enough for the gold medal position at the moment. But it's 60 centimetres behind Sorokina, still leading on that mark of 37.51. It's good, consistent throwing from the rush. And here is Rose. Well, Epa again from France, 21-29. Her one throw so far. Has a personal best of 24-29, which in this competition is something she'll be looking to surpass. But not on this occasion. Difficult to get the timing. There's something to work on there with the guide. Well, for Austria now, Natalia Edda needs an improvement of a couple of metres to try and dislodge Sorokina at the top of the pile. Two throws of uh, 34 metres so far. That second line is 30, and it's just beyond it. It dipped around 32 or thereabouts. Having to hold off Maria Vinicek of Croatia, who's just behind her in third at the moment. Are we in a position right now where the medalists are pretty much entrenched in their positions? Sorokina will look quite difficult to dislodge. It's 32.86, it's a shorter so far, and Edda stays in second place for Austria behind Sorokina of Russia. And the world and European record set at London 2012, 42.51 by Tanya Dragic of Serbia. And here is Vidacek of Croatia. Currently in third place, 30 metres, 40 centimetres. And that's gone beyond 30 metres. That's her most impressive throw so far. Seemed to be heading up rather than away when she released it, but she got great distance there. 
She's highly delighted by it. Vivicek now anxious to see what she's got, if she can put any pressure on Adair. So 32-42, so it's a best throw of the competition so far. And she is a couple of metres behind Adair in the bronze medal position. So we've reached the halfway point in the women's javelin and Sorokina leads 37.51. Natalia Eder of Austrian second place, 34.73. And a good improvement from Maria Vinicek there of Croatia to move up to 32.42, but she remains in third position in this women's javelin final, F12. Rose Wellapa of... Uh, France has got quite a lot of extra work to do. She's around a 25 meter thrower in her career. Would need to massively improve her personal best in order to get into the medal standings. All the focus on the field events at the moment. At the end of this morning session, we'll be back on the track this afternoon at 3.30 local time, 4.30 CET. And there'll be much anticipation about the final of the men's 100 metres in the T12 category. So it's back to uh, Rose Wallapa, who's currently uh, fourth in the competition. Having thrown that 21-29, the thing realistically is doing as well as she uh, could have considered. Just a quick update on the uh, men's long jump, the T11. They've reached the halfway stage. Javier Porras still leads. A count back for Martin Pareko. They have both jumped 5.93. So halfway in the women's javelin, and Sorokina, it's a good advantage. It would take a, a mammoth throw from Natalia Edda in comparison to what she's done so far today in order to dislodge. But now this is Rose Wallepa of France. Personal best is 24-29. Uh, Realistically would be aiming, uh, aiming for that here. Her fourth attempt, can she get it beyond 20 at least? Well, not this time. Twenty-one twenty-nine was the best in the competition, two no throws as well, and she's finding herself in a position where she's knocking around the 20 meter mark and realistically no further here. And she's almost in a competition of her own, trying to beat her personal best with the medals decided elsewhere. 1841 was her fourth round attempt. Vidicek of Croatia with Sorokina leading from Adair in the gold and silver medal positions. And that's beyond 20 meters from, beyond 30 meters rather from Vidicek. 32 42, her most impressive throw so far. And that's going to be close to that. She has a personal best of 34.66 thrown this season. And 
Better check this time, 31-82. So she's been very consistent with three of her four attempts over 30 metres. And now we move on to the battle for gold and silver. Well, it is quite a battle which is currently being led by Anna Sorokina of Russia, Natalia Eder of Austria, finding herself in second place right now. 34-73 in the second round. Needs to improve by around three metres to rise up the rankings. And she's got that a good distance beyond the 30. But how far? Two throws of around 34 metres had her in a very strong position, have kept her in that strong position. Is that beyond it? Hard to say if it is. 37.51 is the lead mark for Sora Keenan. Natalia Eder is a, a 39 metre thrower this year and that would have her in the gold medal position. She needs the throw of her life as that's what it was earlier this year. Good effort by the Austrian. The, uh, the guides are standing by the side in this F12. And she's moved up, she's moved up. In terms of distance, but not placing a 36.45. Natalia Eder remains in second place, but she's only just over a meter away from our leader, Sorokina of Russia. And we can't really overemphasize how windy it is here. And it's a very open stadium as well. Many of these records were set in huge steeply banked arenas like the olympic stadium it's a different scene here the wind does tend to whip across this track and make it difficult as sorokina comes in again and that's another very very decent throw more than decent and that could improve her lead even further Seem to benefit from getting everything right there. And she really gave that everything and it flew out well beyond 30 meters. Forty meters, sixty-seven centimeters. No wonder there is a pump of the fist. It's a personal best from Anna Sorokina. Thirty-nine meters, seventy-five has been surpassed here. When it really matters, and that surely is the gold medal throw. What a great throw from the Russian! Her first forty-meter effort of her life. It was 39.75 for her coming into the competition. For France, it's Rose Wellapa with her a penultimate throw. And that dips around 20 metres. And it will be fourth place for her. I think that's pretty certain now. And have the medal positions been decided too. There's a bit of a gap that's developed between first and second and second and third. That was a terrific effort by Sorokina. 40-67. Well, the world record is 42-51. And if she keeps hitting her straps like that, that could be under pressure. You never know. She still has time. Two more throws. So 18.62 for Walepa, and now we have Vidacek. Her penultimate throw. And that's troubling the 30 meter line, but it's not going to better her throw so far of 32 meters, 42 centimeters. She is assured of at least the bronze medal position at the moment. The question is, can she pull out something? And she's giving everything to 
overhaul Natalia Adair in second place. Not on that occasion. Twenty-seven, twenty-six. So she remains in third place with her third round throw. Moving on to the top two. And that means that Natalia Eder stays in second place for Austria. She's just over four metres clear. And that was an excellent uh, fourth round attempt of 36.45, but the information will have come through what Sorokin has done. She's four meters in the lead now, having pulled off the longest throw of her life. And Ed Air is, has also been very close to 40 meters a lot this year, so she's put a huge amount into it. But that won't be as far as Sorokin's excellent effort from round four. Natalia Eder finding herself in a position. She's uh, very much under the course. Sorokin has put big pressure on her all morning. Good effort from the Austrian, but it needed to be a monumental one. It's 32.41, and that's her shortest effort so far. And Sorokina, by the way, has skipped her fifth round throw. We're going straight into the final round. Well, it's that confidence from Sorokina. I suppose it puts the pressure on Adair. Is Rose Welepa to finish her competition. And again, she is short of 20 metres. And she finishes by stepping over the line, so a red flag. And her best throw, 21 29, to finish in fourth place. We have three more throws remaining. Maria Vidicek of Croatia, 32-42, her best so far for the 22-year-old. Uh, Needs to improve by just over four meters to catch up with Natalia Eder here. And it needs to be beyond 30, and it is, but is it sufficiently enough? Are we about to see Anna Sorokina best Natalia Eder again? It's happened quite a bit down through recent competitions. Vidicek finished fifth in the uh, World Championships in 2011. It's looking like a, a bronze here, which would be an excellent result for her. And it will be bronze at worst. Well, that's her best throw of the day. 32.99, and Maria Vidicek of Croatia wins the bronze. Now, potentially, we have the final throw from Natalia Eder, unless Sorokina fancies a tilt at a potential world record in the final event. So this will decide gold or silver. And it's a big ask for Natalia Eder. The season's best and personal best, 39-24, and she needs to better 40-67 to win the gold medal. And she's given it everything, and it flies out beyond 30 metres. Didn't 
look to quite have the distance in the end, though. But she got the rhythm perfectly there as it flew out over 30 meters. So she may well have her finest throw of the competition, but it will not be enough to take the gold medal. So Anna Sorokina is about to be crowned as the European champion. There is a handshake and it's 35-51. So that means that Natalia Adair will finish in the silver medal position. And Anna Sorokina has one final throw, already guaranteed the gold medal. She's already surpassed her personal best, going beyond 40 metres for the first time. This basically is a tilt at a world record, 42.51. It's not going to happen this time, though, but it doesn't really matter today. It's all about taking the medals. And Anna Sorokina has taken another gold medal for Russia here on the opening morning of competition at Swansea 2014. Winning the women's javelin in the F12 classification with a personal best, the only thrower to go beyond 40 metres. It's a similar story again for Natalia Eder, who finishes behind Sorokina again. Sorokina adds the European title to a well crowned from Lyon last year. Paralympic Games silver in 2012 when Eder took the bronze. And Tanya Dragic was the star of London there, but Sorokina, personal best in round four of 40 metres 67, takes the gold medal, and it's her third major medal in consecutive years, and two of them are gold. And a similar for Ada, three medalled summers in a row, but two of those silver behind this girl, Anna Sorokina. the age of 22, she will be around for a very long time in Paris sport competition. And in the field, in Europe at least, she looks to be the best contender to treble the world record in the future. Well, her personal best today was almost a metre beyond what she had thrown previously. Anna Sorokina wins it. 40 meters 67 natalia Eder picks up a silver here to join the one she picked up in the worlds in leon last year and maria vinicek has a major medal it's bronze 32 99 and in the field in europe at least she looks to be the best contender to treble the world record in the future well her personal best today was almost a meter beyond what she had thrown previously Anna Sorokina wins it 40 meters 67 Natalia Eder picks up a silver here to join the one she picked up in the worlds in Leon last year and Maria Vinicius